Hey guys, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Uh, in this video, simple to do, guys, I'm going to show you how can you create your own. Actually, not create, but how can we introduce ourselves to React.js. Now, I simply go tell this that uh, React is uh, is like a platform where you're going to be creating your UI. Okay, the user interface for the uh, for your application, whether it can be an app or it can be simply a website. Now, simply, I'm not going to take you so long. I'm going to just break everything short. Now, before you have a React installed in your machine, please first make sure that you have Node.js installed in your machine as the first requirement because we need that actual end. Uh, we need the npm uh, the node package manager to actually enable us run stuff from the command line then addition to that also i would request you guys if i told you are new to this programming and if i told you really have not just installed your machine it's not enough i also request you to have at least some basics in the javascript uh, programming if i told you guys you yeah, might have not yet got that basic yet i request you guys to watch my first videos on react but yes actually my first videos are not just uh the ones for actually for javascript and also for those guys who really need javascript as javascript i request you guys to comment down so that i can make free videos for javascript now react you can uh, make uh, apps based on if you're told you don't like to use one as the native uh, react native that just behaves just like you can see android studio uh which you shall be using one as xdxe uh it will make and compile our app and completely be on the smartphones if i told you to use them as the emulator now i'm mean, just going straight forward and show something later now i said this way go and get actually and install your react in your machine uh, now I'll just go through to my uh, since this is going to be a first video I'm just going to go take you through the tutorial and how can you create into a start make into a simple app uh, with Node.js simple I'm just going to show how to can you install app uh, Node.js in your machine and I think it just goes through to this tutorial video down here which is just in the description in this very uh, page you're in so I will open up one so these are the following steps you have to do if at all already have one as in uh, npm or one as not not installed in your machine so I'm just going to go straight to my cmd just go straight to my cmd and what I will type in the cmd you can pick the directory where you would like your uh, stuff to be in now if you try to install uh, globally means i'm installing this uh, react globally in my machine you can, it would be uh, anytime i want to use react or if i don't have react there I mean if i if i really have it globally that implies next time i can just be creating up uh, my app which maybe if i would like to, to use but if you if you just type npm after install uh, installed there yeah, create react app then that implies it will just be in the folder where you'll be working on so i would like to create it using actually global i'm going to do global react uh, app that's how you always have to do so that if you want to install what known as a uh, react into your uh, machine i know very soon it's going to start the internet a bit slow so i'm going to pause you guys <laughs> My friends, mine is down. As you can see at the moment, uh, mine is down. So uh, I would like just at the moment now, after doing so, I have to make sure that I already have that installed uh, globally in your machine. So what I'm going to do at the moment now, at the moment you're going to create one as React app. Now, if you guys you happen just come in here and say create, if you're totally using Windows like me, if you just come and say create React. Uh, react app then i'm just going to call my app as my uh i'm going to just call it maybe as my i'm going to say my as my uh, i'm just going to say osp app just like that now if you click like this trust me it will not work for you guys so i advise you use one must npx for react that implies to enable you to create a react app on your machine get so i will request you guys to use that method don't use the other one at home so if i happen to come down here and i just press enter in i think my machine will be now collecting for the reactor uh 
uh, packages into my uh, machine and secondly this OSP app is the folder name for the app the same time is actually a time to query then the create react app will be picking all the packages up for the react installation and everything that you need the components that one needs in position to create a react app now I think I was, I'm going to pause for meantime as we're waiting for us actually to uh, pop up actually to bring up our, our React app as it is now installing. Therefore, <laughs> now my uh, program is done with the installation. So, to run our program, now remember. Uh, during the time of installation of all our projects today, we happen to install them in the user's OSP. So if I happen to come back here and I go to my directory where OSP is in users, users then OSP, which is here, you just go to find our project here down. But this is not good practice. I would encourage you can create your folder anywhere within your machine. You can create anywhere, or that is just an external list still you can put in your entire program. So if you double click in here, you'll find all the places and all the requirements needed for you guys to happen to create your program. So I'm going to just open up here, uh, I think, since everything is done, you can just open up using Sublime Text or any editor of yours. So if I just go to Sublime Text, I'm just going to create the entire program. I'm just going to create I carry that entire folder and I bring them here forth on my sublime text. So I already have it, it's in users, uh, users OSP, then we have that uh, folder here. So I just carry that once, grab it, uh, and that's it. So uh, this is now where our project is going to be at the moment. So just make it big like that. Now, if you take a look at the uh, the packages as we have, these are the packages we have within us. Come with some HTML on default. There are not going to be any changes in this tutorial. I wish I'll be doing it in the next tutorial as I'm going to teach you to make it. Also, we shall be building up a simple app together. So let me just take you straight forward again to assembly. Now, this is it. This is where we are in at the moment. So I need not tell you something. We will always, you always you can always use one of NPM to start so that you can start the server and so that you can see our application in the server on the site. But before doing that, we have to first go to the directory where our, our app is called is in. You get so what I'm going to do here at the moment, I'm just going to say CD to my uh, OSP, which is our app. OSP app. Sorry. Send it the OSB app, and if I click enter, then I cannot start the npm uh, start up. So if I click now enter, the server will be started. At the same time, also the browser will open up for us, and we shall be in position uh, to see our app running uh, on the on the on the server or on the browser, uh, something like that. So guys, let's wait as it open up for us and we'll see definitely how can we, how is it all about. Um, as soon as going to be opening and we shall be in touch to be uh, seeing it opening up for us. Let me just close some of the stuff off. So guys, I think now you can see that our app is done and just open up in that host. You get just like you can see right from here running on my server. So we have started up the development uh, server. Uh, so the server is running and soon it's going to uh, bring the entire information for our site uh, to be popping up on, this, on the browser at the same time we're doing the stuff. So guys, that's it. I uh, just thank you guys for uh, watching this videos. Please, this uh, if this really helped you out, my friend. There, please I request you guys just subscribe to my channel. You know, just like the video. I uh, comment down there so that I can know who 
uh, what next? What's that that you are like? You know, uh, you know, guys. Some of you are coming from just from Java background. Even uh, I also know Java. But the point is that it's kind of hectic and takes some good time. But you can use a React, uh, React and React Native to make a complete app with which someone of Java also can maybe do. Are uh, using Android Studio or even also other person who are using Ionic still can do. So guys, that's it. Please, thanks for watching this video. Don't just get for actually don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Love you all.